your name, by the way? My name is Jack Lincoln. Jack Lincoln from? From Microvision. Microvision. And, and we're we... demonstrating uh, what we call our Show WX codename product uh, Pico Projector. It's it, small. Yeah. It is very small. It's about 122 grams in weight. Mm -hmm. And what's unique about it is that it's a laser-based projector. So one of the things that you'll notice is that when you look at the image, it's always in focus. Oh, so there's no need for manual focusing. No need for manual focusing because the laser, uh, the laser spot is always in focus. So, so it's detecting the range. It's not detecting the range. It's actually that that uh, when you take a, a, a a laser pointer, for example, you'll notice that the beam is always in focus. Same thing here, the pixels that we create are always in focus. So there's no complex optics, no sensors, no anything, nothing like that in the system. The other thing you'll notice is that the colors are very, very richly saturated. That's also a benefit of using laser light. Right. Um, this unit here, it just, the video just ended. Okay. This unit here is... Um, a WVGA projector. In, in pixels, how many resolutions? In pixels, right? that's 848 by 480 pixels. So it's wide VGA, true 16 by 9 format. And the projector itself is a 10 lumen projector. So it's really not intended to replace the conference room projector. But what it will do is it'll allow you to have a mobile media experience where you can actually have a large screen, ex a large screen experience. And, the and that's how it differentiates itself from all the other 3M Pico projectors yeah. and all that because they it's require, using laser. It's using lasers and those require focusing optics and uh, the resolution of this unit is uh, somewhat higher than, than the, uh, the LCOS and the TIDLB based projectors. Um, and so what you have here is something that in a dark room can be up to 100 inches diagonal. Mm. So if you have a completely dark room, you can get a very, very large screen experience. And what we're driving off of this little uh, iPod Nano is actually only 680 by 480 pixels. So we're not using the full resolution of this system. Fascinating. Yeah. The other thing is that it's a battery-powered uh, unit. So it uses a standard lithium lithium ion battery like the ones you get in your cell phone rechargeable mm -hmm. so that you can um, you can actually use a unit on the go and you can also run it off of wall power if you want to plug it in and, and, and use it to do the same yep so the unit is not commercially available just yet okay we expect it to be uh, available starting in the middle of this year um, low volume production, ramping into high volume production um, later on in the year, but you'll be able to get these starting in about the June time frame. What's the expected retail price going to be around? So we haven't announced this public pricing on it yet, but we expect that it should be between about four and five hundred dollars. Okay, sounds reasonable. Yeah, for what it does, it's amazing. Yeah, you'll be hard pressed to find anything smaller with better resolution and better brightness than this, uh, than this uh, projector. Cool. All right, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Have a good show.